ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So, as you guys know, um, I did my teacher call in show last Thursday, and I thank everybody who came to that green room. And um, who just got a chance to talk. There's some issues going on with Spotify this week. I don't know why I was not showing the video. Um, I might try and re-upload it. I don't know what's going on with Spotify. They've been having all types of glitches and issues. But when you go on the Spotify app, all you see is the audio. But it was the full video uploaded. Um, so I don't know. I'll try and re-upload it again so you guys can see the clips that I had inserted. But um. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. It's never done that before. So this morning, I was sent a video on my DM on um, just, I just feel so bad that some of these teachers are going through stuff like this. Let me share my tab here. So about more teachers. So I, I think teachers are sending me stuff now because I guess I'm like the teacher <laughs> police. I'm the only one out here really speaking up for teachers. Um, so this is what I wrote. I said, and this is why I had my teacher call in show last week. No one should have to put up with this nonsense because of one or two kids. The other kids who want to learn are also being affected. Back in the day, if this was your kid, they would be expelled and it would be your job as a parent to figure it out. Teachers don't get paid enough for this BS. I said what I said. Don't bother shaming me with any talk about ADD slash ADHD most of those labels are being used to justify bad behavior. There's a wide spectrum and some kids take full advantage of this. Remember in the real world, nobody cares about school labels. You will simply be arrested. Like I said, I don't care. This behavior is unacceptable. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this video. Very disturbing video. Today, I said, I do not. I said, I do not talk to you that way. And I would appreciate it if you did not talk to me. Me. I do not curse at you. Have I ever cursed at you? Yes. Have I, I have never yes. cursed at you. Yes, you have. I, you know that's not true. I bet I can put on your problems that you won't even know, Mr. Johnson. You probably could. Come on, put some problems on the board. <laughs> I tell you. You, you, Give you, you, you. you. I like to see you go up here and do one of these problems. Yeah, these kids is off the chain. These kids is off the chain. And I and I feel bad because no teachers should have to deal with that type of nonsense. Um and also I also wrote this too. Um, let me read this to y'all. Uh I said a lot of this is also spiritual warfare. 
coming from electronics, but y'all are not ready for that conversation. I noticed that many teachers that called in said, once you even threaten to take their phones or iPads, they go berserk like they're possessed. Shake my head, this is a sad situation all the way around. A lot of these kids are iPad babies who now see their equipment as part of their being and will flip out. Look at that six foot 14 who almost beat that teacher to death over a Nintendo Switch that shouldn't have even been at the school in the first place. That girl is huge and could have easily hurt any of those teachers without much thought. So yeah, I definitely believe that some of this is definitely spiritual warfare. Um, I know people hate to discuss anything with religion and, and spirituality, and that's fine. I, I don't care. Um, there, there are spirits, and they move through things like electricity. And I've talked about this in my deep dives. And so I think these kids, you know, when you take something from them and you hold them accountable, there's an anger that was not there years ago. And I look at it before social media, before, you know, access to the internet and iPads and electronics. There is a, there's a strength, there's an anger, excuse me, that just was not there. I'm not saying kids back in the day didn't get angry, didn't get into stuff, but it was never to this point, you know, just this volatile nature. It's, it's insane. Now the young girl, yes, thank you. Uh, who wrote that? Uh, Ether Ann says we are electrical beings. Exactly. You know, um, it's, it's just really sad. The young girl who had broke her teacher's leg, there's an update on her story as well. So I want to cover that with you guys here. Um, and this was another situation where a teacher was harmed while doing her job of simply trying to teach. Teacher still has to rely on crutches as to get around. She's been out of work since the 15-year-old girl attacked her in late January. Tonight, for the first time, that teacher is publicly sharing her story. Jaw-dropping video filmed by students at Heritage High School shows the seconds that changed Tawana Turner's life and nearly ended her 27-year teaching career. I was in the hospital six days, and the numbness was there um, all six days. Other teachers had to rip the 15-year-old girl off of her. Have you seen the video? Yeah. What was that like watching that? I was amazed at how I held off. I, I just couldn't believe that I was able to hold myself off like that, you know, and not react. Turner says God spoke to her in those moments after the adrenaline subsided. The pain hit me and I was like, my leg, you know, I can't move my leg. The Rockdale County District Attorney's Office tells Fox 5 that the 15 year old girl pleaded guilty to aggravated battery against a teacher, which is a felony. Last week, a judge sentenced her to a year in the youth detention center, followed by five years of supervised release. What allegedly caused the girl to go off when Turner tried to take her phone? These cell phones, they're able to bring them to school. It's becoming a huge issue. This is like their livelihood. You take it away and some of them go berserk. Turner says she's still in physical therapy and can't even drive. She says worse than the physical pain, the emotional pain of sitting home away from her students. Can you ever see yourself stepping foot into a classroom as a teacher ever again? Yes. You know, that situation was an isolated situation. She says after the video went viral, people from around the world reached out to her to express their support. People who don't know me have reached out to me, have helped me, are praying for me, supporting. That that kind of treatment, that holds you up when you when you fall. You got angels on your side. I'm telling you. I now to a Fox five. Exclusive. Okay. So we just saw that video. So, um, that's really disturbing, you know, now at 15, she has a felony. Um, she's gone away for a year. This teacher has been out of work since January. And did you guys notice what she said? She said she took the cell phone from her and she went crazy. She went berserk. And that is the same thing that the teachers who were calling into the show last week were saying. There's some type of tie that a lot of these kids have with their phones 
like we like we were even saying during that um podcast if you guys haven't listened to it please go listen to it that if you watch the movie megan remember when the little girl started snapping on the aunt she went crazy on the aunt when the aunt tried to take the megan doll from her and i think this is how a lot of the kids are nowadays they have such an attachment to their ipad their nintendo switches their phones that it's almost like you're taking a part of them from them you know so for her to break her leg over a phone that is insane um and again i don't know um you know i don't have all the right answers but i feel like as somebody um you know who has a, a platform that we have to talk about real topics like this you know that affecting the school system and teachers and you know the youth you know what I'm saying? We have to talk about these. If we can talk about celebrities want to be peed on, we can also talk about teachers getting their ass whooped for simply trying to have order in the classroom. There was no reason for that little boy to be talking to the teacher like that. F you. I couldn't even imagine saying something like that to the teacher back in the day. You know, it's just, it's insane. And um, I think what's going to end up happening is they're gonna have to hold the parents accountable too. You start making things an inconvenience for the parents, they're not gonna have any choice but to get off in those kids' asses and have them doing the right thing. You know, um, once you make it inconvenient for the parent where they can't, if, if we can't teach and do our job, well then bitch, you can't go to work either. Come get your child, get your child and move around. You know, cause like I said, back in the day, they just expelled you. No, Nobody's about to beg you. There wasn't no, you know, uh, um, there were no programs. Just, you know, either you want to be here to learn if you didn't want to be and you want to hang out in the streets and, and sell crack. That's your business. Bye. They pushed you out and they, they kept it moving. And they kept the students in the school who wanted to learn, who wanted to get their high school diploma. We weren't going to chase you. If you just came to school because you thought it was a fashion show, that's cute. But now you're being a, you're becoming a disruption. You're expelled. You're out of here. I mean, y'all can go back and watch Mr. Clark. Now, I wasn't in high school back in the damn 80s. I ain't that old. But y'all seen how Mr. Clark did. That was the norm. You know, when they were cleaning up crazy schools like that, they came in, they got rid of all the damn hood boogers. Remember Sam's trying to come back? Mr. Clark, um, I think there was a mistake. I was one of the kids that you, you know, that you kicked out yesterday. He was, <laughs> looked at that list. He said, Sam, I ain't no damn mistake. Uh, you was in the, you was, you smoke crack, don't you? Ain't no damn mistake. You was smoking crack and acting a fool in school. And what did Sam do? He started crying and shit. Mr. Clark, I can't tell my mama I got kicked out of school, Mr. Clark. Give me one more chance. And Mr. Clark, what'd he do? Took him up into that roof. That was my movie child. And told him, don't fuck around with it. Do it expeditiously. Sit there and you know, you know what crack does to your brain cells? It kills your brain cells, son. It kills your brain cells. That is how teachers talked to you back in the day. Nobody was here to kiss your ass. They were damn if you had ADHD. Sam probably had ADHD. You know what I'm saying? Nobody cared about that. Either you were going to act accordingly, you know what I'm saying, or move the hell around. He wasn't about to beg them, you know? So I, I don't know, man. He told them, either you're going to do the right thing or get the hell up out of here. So we might have to go back to that or else it's going to be AI schools because you know, uh, uh, teachers are quitting by the droves. And at this point, you can't even blame them. You know, when you have to deal with that, I, I couldn't even imagine that wildebeest of a girl, that big old white girl. She looked like she could probably eat me. Just banging on the door like a demon. It looked like a scary movie. Ah! I'm like, what the hell is this? I couldn't even imagine. That man looked as scared as hell. And these kids is big. You see the teacher asking for help. I need help. I need help. And then the student, the other boy got up. He bigger than teacher. Oh, I got you. I'm like, damn, he tall too. These kids are big and thick. <laughs> Some big old kids. Ain't no more co coil arrays. These kids have been fed on hormones and the damn chickens have been fed with growth shit. Some big kids. All them kids were bigger than the teacher. The teacher was asking the other students for help. That boy got up like a big old football place and he grabbed the door. Goodness. So I don't know, man. These are some cornbread fed kids. That's a big white girl. And then you see that little white teacher on the other side, the female teacher trying to hold her. But girl, you better let her go for she knock you out. Crying and, and carrying on like that over some bullshit. I'm, and that's the thing. A lot of these parents, they don't want to be bothered with these badass kids. Well, guess what? If you don't want to bother with your badass kids, what makes you think these teachers want to be bothered? They don't. They just want to do their job and teach. 
Don't nobody got time to keep stopping their lesson plan because your child doesn't know how to just sit there and behave. So, and I'm not saying for all the kids who keep crying, T, you don't ever talk about the bad teachers. I'm not saying that there's not bad teachers. I'm not saying that every teacher is innocent. Trust me. Okay, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying, like for every bad teacher that we might see who talks to a kid crazy, I see a lot more videos of kids showing out. That's what I see, you know? And a lot of times when you have teachers who just don't care, who feel like they're just there for a paycheck, that is because they're burnt out. They are burnt out. So something has got to give. It's just, it's sad. It's really sad. But yeah, both them kids was big as hell shit. Them some big old kids. There's a big white girl, honey. The way she was banging on that door had me scared. Bitch. <laughs> just call the police on her ass. Throw her ass in jail. I thought she was going to break down the door. I'm like, what is this? Like, what? this isn't school. Looks like a damn insane asylum. But a lot of people, I mean, go on that, uh, that post. A lot of teachers are saying that's the norm. That's how their classrooms are now. You know, like I said, you got some of these, you know, crazy kids out here who are, you know, the game bangers of the hood. They got them mixed in with the regular students. So it's it's a mess out here. But, you know, bless these teachers. Because I couldn't even imagine that. You could tell that man was scared as hell. He said, hey, come on, I need help. One of the students help me. Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. Um, Maddie P. Sam 499 says, love you, T, when you coming to Vegas. I'm, child, send for me. I'll come. I love Vegas, honey. Send for me and I'll come. I would love to come out there and speak somewhere in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Put it together. Put it together. I'm willing to travel. Uh, let's see here. Lorenzo sent 999 says, when I was in school, kids got spankings by the principal. Lorenzo, your picture, you look young in that picture. When was you in school? Because principals was hitting kids in like the 70s. You do not look that old. <laughs> he was getting hit by the principal. Wasn't no principals hitting y'all in the damn mid-90s. Stop, Lorenzo. You ain't that old. Lorenzo looked good for his age if he's that old. Because by the time, because see what it was. I'm going to tell you why they took corporal punishment out. Because a lot of teachers did get carried away with the corporal punishment. So like the kids who grew up in the 70s, 60s, and 70s, they used to get their ass beat in school you get punished, you get whipped. Because I remember our teacher, my fourth grade teacher used to say that to us. Oh, I wish this was back in my day. I'd have a switch. He would tell us that. Mr. Johnson was crazy as hell. He used to eat his bananas with salt on them. What the hell? It was his thing. He'd have a banana and salt. And he ate that every day, child. But yeah, he's always tell us that. This is back in my day. You know, you want to keep talking, we'd have a switch. Well, thank God it's the 90s, Mr. Johnson. You can't hit us. But I think that's why they took corporal punishment. Because, yeah, back, especially like in the South, it was big in the South, like Mississippi, they had paddles and shit. Yeah, so that really kind of ended in like, I want to say the early 90s. Because even in certain places in Mississippi, you could still get paddled. But, you know, parents were complaining and, you know, some teachers took advantage of that. So they got rid of corporal punishment. Now, I don't want anybody beating my child so I can get that. But, you know, there's a lot there was a lot less headache, though, in the school system. I will say that, you know, because, again, you had to behave because you get your ass whooped. And I'm outside with one of my friends and he said that he grew up in Atlanta. He used to get his ass whooping class. He said his his teacher paddled him. I said, well, damn, what was you in school? Well, I, he went to school in the I didn't realize he was that old. He went to school in the 70s. So he said in Atlanta, they could whoop you back then. Now, I said, well, what the hell happened? Because these damn Atlanta kids, they're off the chain now. He said that's because they took the, the paddling out the school. So it was there. But again, you're always going to have people who take advantage, unfortunately. So you had some teachers who got very sadistic and they got drunk on power. So unfortunately, now it's just a mess. The kids are the ones running the, the show. They're the ones running the show. The parents are afraid of the kids. Um the schools, the principals, it all boils down to the children. They're the ones running the show. I mean, even when you think about, um, even we, let's just take the music industry, for example. Look how much, and even entertainment, how much they're now catering to the TikTok generation and how, you know, artists are now making music, not from their heart, not music that really speaks to the soul, but music that can that can accommodate a TikTok dance, you know? Yeah, that's deep. Thank you, Tay K. Uh, yeah, Tay K H. I appreciate you. 
Um, let's see here. Barbara sent six says Mississippi here. They're still paddling. They were still paddling in 2006 with parents permission. I graduated in 2003 and they paddled us. Wow. Yeah, I know Mississippi held on to that for a long time. I didn't know it went on until 2006. That's interesting. Because I remember that was one of the, the school systems. They were like, no, they were big on paddling. Um, Miss Anonymous sent 499 says, I got paddled in, in elementary school in the 80s in Mississippi. So again, Mississippi. They wasn't playing in Mississippi, child. And when I got home, I got more from the whole neighborhood. Never again, yup. That's true. Like once you get embarrassed like that and, and paddled, you was the best student that day for it. So, I mean, paddling definitely had its place, you know, and sometimes you do got to, you know, spank your kids, um, you know, just to let them know who, who's boss and get them in line. I'm not saying abuse your children, but yeah, you definitely have to spank your kids. So paddling definitely had its place. Um, Black Sand sent 9999. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. They said, T, listen to the playback of your recent Spotify Live. I was in tears hearing what all of these teachers are currently going through. Thank you for using your platform to give people a voice and a safe place to speak. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I appreciate the teachers just being brave enough to speak out because like that quote said, you know, it's scary because sometimes when teachers do speak out, they get in trouble. They get attacked by the parents and and things like that. So I'm glad that I could lend my platform for people to call in and really talk about it. And it's it's sad, you know, it's sad the things that's going on because we need good teachers. And unfortunately, we're losing a lot of good teachers because of politics in the school system. You know, they're not allowed to do their job. And that's why now you have people who are signing up to teach and they don't want to be there. They're just doing it for a paycheck. You don't want that type of teacher. You want a teacher that's going to make it interesting and make the learning environment not only fun, but educational for your child. So thank you so much. Um, Little Ruby's daycare in Connor is in five says, when I worked at a daycare center, parents were called to pick up kids with really bad temper tantrums, really young kids too. Wow. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. But thank you so much. Um, 40 Shorty said, said 1999, said, thank you for being you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thanks for the super chat. Breezy Campbell said, five, says, love you, T. Did you already talk about the Fuji's member, Fraz, who, Fraswell, who got convicted? No. Um, no. Ain't he a snitch, too? They said he was an informant in the industry. Fraz has always been a weirdo. He was the weirdo of the Fuji, so I'm not surprised um, that he's been convicted for scamming and doing all that nonsense. Um, it's a bad look. But yeah, no, I didn't talk about him at all, but thank you for the super chat, love. Um, somebody from the islands, uh, Fatness Galore, sent $2. She said, in 1995, soap in your mouth for cussing in the islands. Oh, wow. So in the islands, they gave y'all soap. I'm surprised they weren't, they didn't use a paddle in the islands. That's interesting. That's interesting. But y'all, I've been on here for a while. I'm gonna get ready to log off. It's getting late too. It's 8.38. Uh, one more. Uh, Herigio321 says, I'm not sure what happened over the years. But I try my best to raise my kids with respect. It all starts at home. I definitely agree. It starts in the household, you know what I'm saying? And we have to do better as people, parents, the entire community. It definitely starts in the household. Because um, if not, we're not going to have anybody to teach the children but AI. And I have posted in the Discord, um, they're bringing AI to China. They're trying to start it here but it's already in China where they have AI teachers. This is the future of schooling because you know whatever happens overseas eventually comes here. So this is what, what they're already implementing in China. Remember people drug me and said, oh, uh, they would never wear masks in American schools. I might got cussed out by friends on Facebook. I said, damn, y'all know me personally. Y'all are cussing me out. And what happened? Y'all started wearing masks in schools. But this is what's going on right now in China. 
teachers at this primary school in China know exactly when someone isn't paying attention. These headbands measure each student's level of concentration. The information is then directly sent to the teacher's computer and to parents. Classrooms have robots that analyze students' health and engagement levels. Students wear uniforms with chips that track their locations. There are even surveillance cameras that monitor how often students check their phones or yawn during classes. But schools say it wasn't hard for them getting parental consent to enroll kids into what is one of the world's largest experiments in AI education, a program that's supposed to boost students' grades while also feeding powerful algorithms. All right, that is the clip. So I believe if these issues keep happening in the American school system, your children, if y'all don't start raising them right and um, getting them to act right, they will be taught by AI. They're already running tests in China. Um, it's just really disturbing to see those kids with chips on their heads. It can monitor how many times your kid yawns in class. Who cares if they're yawning? Um, if they're not paying attention, it, that's just creepy. It's just very, very creepy. Um, so that could be the future if um, teachers continue to be abused and mistreated. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.